All right, I'm gonna touch up some touch up some stuff that I missed on my last video on how to make a Madden cover, uh, just some and some extra stuff and how to use a pen tool because some people want to know how to use it, like to cut out the player. I'm also gonna show you how to put a player in a background like that. Um, so let's get started quick. And how to open a Madden template, which you might know how to do. So first, I'm gonna show you how to use the pen tool. Uh, just get a picture from Google um, of wh whichever player that you want. I'm just going to do this quick. The pen tool's over here. Make sure that it's on pass. Um, then you just click. Click all around the player. Alright, now say, and if you want to curve it, just click and hold. And you can curve it like that. But say this is the player, you just connect it. And you go to pass, right click, make selection, OK. Then you click Control Shift I to select all around the edge of the player. And you, whoops. Control Shift I. It will select all around except what you put around in it, and then you'll have that. So I'm going to undo that quick. Then Control D to deselect. Alright, I'm gonna get this paint matting out of here. Alright, now how to open the Madden template because it's in a zip folder. So you just go wherever you have it, wherever you download to. Mine's in my downloads. So you find it right here, right click it, open, and then you open that right there. And you click update. Okay, so you have that delete the generic player. So I'm just gonna drag the Vernon Davis over. Um now when you first get your picture, then you do the pen tool and stuff. So you go to uh image adjustments when you first get it. I already did it in this brightness, but when you first get it, my, the picture was like that. It was dark. You move, move the brightness up. I'm just gonna end the contrast to make it look better, more professional. I'm just gonna get kind of because I already, I already made it how I want it. Um, now to show you how to uh, put the picture in the background, just like that. So first, you download the brushes that I had in the description. Uh, that one should be good. Decrease the size. You can also use the bracket keys, right side of the P, to decrease the size too. But all right, so now okay. you just uh, use the eyedropper quick to get the color of the uniform. Then you go back to the brush, create a new layer, or here. Make sure it's above. So, and you just click wherever you want your that your picture to be. You click. Oh wait, let me get a different brush here, quick. Uh, that one should work. And then, uh, so I'm just gonna get this paint matting and drag it in. So I have your picture, hit control T and hold shift to keep up the proportions when you uh, make it smaller. You want to make it bigger, not that much bigger than your where you're at, like where your picture is going to be. And then you want to maybe tell a little bit. Make sure it's above the layer of the red there. So you right click and click create clipping mask so there you go if you want to add more so you see more of it go down to the layer and just add more so you, then you'll see more wherever you click so th there's that um, let's see if you want to create a PS3 you just go here and click the PS3 put it above the Xbox 360 or uh no, that's not how you do it, but um never mind that. Um
um, and that's about it. Let's see, I covered the pen tool, I covered the image in the background. Um, so yeah, subscribe. Um, and I'll have more Photoshop videos coming up. Uh, $2 if you want me to make you a cover, because it takes a lot of, it takes time, my time. Um, or you can make them yourself with my other video. I'll have to, I'll have the link on the annotation of the ones, covers I made, and how to make your own. So, yeah, subscribe. That's it.